The back and forth between neighbors and White Oak Music Hall is not over yet. After a long legal battle, people living near the north side venue say there is still too much noise. Now the Music Hall's employees are facing multiple violations. Our senior reporter Phil Archer joining us live with how attorneys for those employees are trying to fight back. Phil. Yeah, you might remember it appeared this dispute had been settled a little over a year ago when the venue's owners agreed in order to settle a lawsuit brought by residents, agreed to install monitors to measure the noise level and to limit the number of performances held here each year. Well, today their attorneys went to court and attempted to make all that moot by asking to have the city's noise ordinance declared unconstitutional, showing that this fight is still far from over. In April 2018, the residents dropped their lawsuit after the venue's owners agreed to limit the number of shows each year and to install sound meters to monitor the noise level. But residents still complain the noise is often overwhelming, especially late at night. You try to lay down in bed and you just hear that, you know, and it, I can't sleep, so I just turn, have to turn up the TV. It drowns out your conversation. It drowns, I'm a musician. I don't mind music, but... I'm a songwriter. I try to work at my house, and I half the time I can't even hear myself play. In recent months, Houston police have issued roughly half a dozen tickets for sound violations to music hall employees. Each violation can result in fines of up to $15,000, and together they could provide ground for going after the music hall's license. Those violations haven't gone to court yet, and today lawyers for the music hall employees tried to have them thrown out by arguing that a section of the city's sound ordinance is un constitutional specifically the part that says it's not only about what residents can hear but also what they can feel but there's this particular part that says that any citizen becomes aware of a vibration that's prima facie evidence that a violation has has happened and that's that's too vague um, it's a uh, it is arbitrarily enforced uh, and we think that it should be stricken from this part of the law. The attorneys made that argument in court today but Judge Larry Rousseau denied it without comment. What comes next will be court hearings for the employees cited with sound violations, and that could provide another chance for the venue's attorneys to go after the city's sound ordinance on a constitutional grounds. Reporting live in Northeast Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.